Hello, I'm Rachel and you're watching Kalkine TV. Let's get started with the trending news topics for today and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notifications for the latest video. Now, climate change is an existential threat for most lives on our planet. In an attempt to minimize many consequences of climate change, governments across the globe are pushing environmentally friendly solutions to save our planet Earth. One such trend, which is highly supported by the authorities, is the transition of the automotive industry into electric vehicles. To meet the global goals on climate change, EVs are expected to play an important part. Globally, governments and Automakers are encouraging the use of EVs to curb oil use and fight climate change. The transportation sector contributes the maximum to greenhouse gas emissions. EVs are more efficient than fossil fuel driven cars as they do not burn fuel and release CO2. The recently announced Joe Biden administration's $2 trillion American dollar infrastructure plan in the US includes $174 billion investment in electric vehicles for developing a national level infrastructure to aid the transition. The US government is not alone to support the electric vehicle space, as many countries are injecting funds to develop infrastructure for EVs. South Korea is also eyeing to capitalize on the emerging trends related to the EV sector. The Asian country is set to ramp up its efforts for promoting a domestic charging technology for EVs. In South Africa, the Technology and Standards Agency held a virtual meeting to foster the wireless charging technology with a 50 kilowatt capacity. The innovative technology will help EVs to get charged quickly with 80% of their capacity within an hour. Automakers across the globe seem committed to reducing dependency on fossil fuels for consumer transportation. They are expanding their EV fleets and making bold commitments towards this shift. By 2030, Volvo is planning to become a fully electric car company, while GM has committed to produce 30 new EVs by 2025. To meet the rising demand, the plastics industry is expected to be a key partner in the transition to low carbon transportation. Besides making vehicles lightweight, plastics enables excellent fuel efficiency and extended EEV range and leads to increased lifespan in enhanced performance and improved safety. With regulatory bodies expected to implement more stringent emission standards in the coming time, weight reduction would be an essential factor in reducing fuel consumption. The lightweight plastics are expected to make up 50% of vehicle volume, especially in hybrid and electric vehicles. The lithium-ion battery industry is also gaining traction on the back of the booming EV sector. In fact, the biggest market of lithium-ion batteries is expected to be the EV industry in the coming time. For instance, as the EV boom gathers momentum, Canadian startup Light Cycle Corp has big plans when it comes to batteries. The company intends to set up a third battery recycling facility in North America. The significant step would double Light Cycle's capacity in the region. The facility will be near Phoenix and would be capable of processing a huge amount of battery manufacturing, scrap and end-of-life batteries annually. During the pandemic-stricken year 2020, plug-in hybrid and battery electric vehicle sales saw a sharp rise. Even while the lockdown began last year, EV sales continued to grow as per data from the Resources and Energy Quarterly December 2020. Globally, the electric vehicle industry clocked sales growth of 68% in the September 2020 quarter, touching 2.3 million units for the year 2020. If you like this information, please like, share and comment on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for notifications from our latest videos. For regular updates and information, log on to our website, calkinemedia.com.